Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks video. Today, we might as well get on with what we're supposed to be doing. So, this is one of the planes for my challenge that was to take six passengers and a boatload of cargo over to the Arctic. Now, what we need to figure out is whether this can, thing can take off, whether it can land, and whether it can hold all the people. The thing that we need to figure out after that is how long it can actually fly for uh, in order to actually get all the way to the Arctic, which is a hundred kilometers away. So uh, that's something that we need to sort out. Anyway, let's go ahead and push this button. We'll go ahead and climb up these little ladders. Oh man, that is a cool way to get inside. We'll go ahead and push the button and it closes. It's got a little indicator light, which is pretty cool for that. And we'll have a little look around. So we've got eight seats, which is nice. That is more than enough seats. If we run to the back, we can go ahead and open up the tailgate. The tailgate and uh, wow, okay, yeah, we got a massive entrance for the door. So there is no doubt this thing can carry all the cargo and all the people. That's good. All right, cool. So we're not even going to fly over to the mission. We're going to take off in this thing. We're going to turn around and we're going to try and land it on the ground. We also need to know how much fuel it's got inside of its shelf. And I guess it could actually fly all the way to the Arctic if it wants to. Uh, so yeah, distance to target. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. We'll fly straight to the, straight to the Arctic. It's not even that far away. I mean, it is. It's really far away. But if we do that... We go ahead and set the coordinates. There we go. And uh, we just go. Let's uh, go ahead and take off. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. Outside engines. Inside engines. Beautiful. Instrument lights, cabin lights, and navigation lights. Awesome. We need all of those. And I guess if we can just go, that would be great. Here we go. Here we go. We're going, boys. We're going. Yep, there we go. Oh, this is nice. This is beautiful already. Okay, so we're going to taxi onto the runway very slowly using this massive behemoth of a plane. Man, it's cool. I don't know whether I like the cockpit so much. and like It is very boxy, but I like it. it. It does work. In fact, it'll do the job perfectly fine. Okay, let's turn a little bit. The front landing gear has collapsed. Oh, jeez. The front landing gear has definitely collapsed. We're pat oh, whoa, that was close. All right, okay, cool. So we are actually in the sky. That is lucky. That's good. All right, cool. If we can... Uh, where's the landing gear button? There it is. Lift up the landing gear. The front landing gear did definitely break there, but that is fine. The back landing gear has struggled to get in before the door closed, so that's also a little bit broken, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and push the button. Hopefully, we go towards our target. That would be great. Is it going to do that? I don't know whether it's doing that or not. I have no idea. I think it is turning. Yeah. It's kind of doing what it's supposed to be doing, I think. So that's nice. Okay, cool. Push the button again. Yeah, it does. It turns. All right, that's nice. Um, let's just see how much fuel we've got and how fast it'll take to get there. Or how long it'll take to get there. We'll go ahead and get rid of this. Uh, remove waypoint. And we'll see how far away it is. All right, 95. Let's go full throttle if we can. Uh, do we have a fuel thing right here anywhere? Uh, battery fuel. We've got 6,000 fuel. Oh, we're definitely going to make it. Definitely. De oh, maybe not. <laughs> we might not make it. I mean, this is using fuel pretty quickly. I don't know. This is going to be interesting to see. Okay, so we can actually work this out from right here. So we'll say 87. Okay, that's good. And we'll say 6,150. 87, 6,150. All right, try and remember that. Uh, right, okay, cool. Grab my thingamabobby. Take it back home. 87 kilometers and uh, 6,150. 6,150. Let's have a little look inside of here. And we'll have a little look at the fuel. What did it start at? 7,000. So 6,150. Uh, okay, right. And we traveled 87. So we traveled 11 kilometers. 11 kilometers and we used 900 fuel. Okay, cool. Okay, so from my calculations, I believe we actually need 8,000 fuel. I could be completely wrong with this, though, so I think this plane wouldn't actually make it. Especially when we have to take off from our main base, which is all the way down here. We have to fly from here over to here, land, pick up these dudes and the stuff, and then fly north. So, uh, yeah, I don't think it's got enough fuel to actually do the journey, unfortunately. But um, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. See, I'm interested to see how much fuel this thing could actually hold. Because I, I think it would be able to hold a hell of a lot more than it does currently. Um, not entirely sure where the fuel tank... Oh, it uses these fuel tanks. Okay, I see. Okay, so we got like one, two, three, four, five on this wing. And we got one, two, three, four, five on that wing. 
That is quite a lot of fuel. So the large ones hold. I'm not sure what the large ones hold, but let me work this out. Yeah, so that's literally all the fuel that we possibly uh, can have in this plane. I mean, we can add some more fuel tanks. We could add a custom fuel tank. A custom fuel tank would probably end up working a lot better than these. I didn't actually see that they were, like, just underneath the wing like this. Uh, but that is pretty cool, I suppose. Um, it just won't make the journey. I don't think it would be able to make it uh, purely based on how much fuel it's got. So uh, that's really unfortunate. If you added one more fuel tank onto each wing, then it definitely would work. But, um... Never mind, never mind. Uh, let's go ahead and take off in it anyway. We'll go ahead and land it again, and we'll see if we can do the landing. Now, I could be completely wrong with this maths, because I haven't done, uh, I haven't been to school. I never went to school. Um, so yeah, there you go. Anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Let's get into the sky. Navigation lights, all of these lights, and let's just go. Let's just go. We won't damage the wheel this time either. So, yeah. Let's get off the ground. We'll turn it around in the sky, and we'll put it down for a landing. Okay, so it gets into the air really quickly. Like, it is so easy to take off. Um, there is an island over there with what looks like a runway. So we'll go ahead and land on the runway. That seems like a good idea. And, uh, yeah, we'll literally just pop it down. We'll pop it down straight away. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. It's fine. All right, here we go. We're going to go in for a landing. Yep, here we go. Here we go. We have to turn around a corner to go in for a landing, but that's okay. Uh-oh. 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 All right, you know what? It would be really easy to land if I could land it, but there you go. Bam, we're on the ground. Easy peasy. Yeah, I mean, that could have been a way better landing, but never mind. Uh, it does actually land. I would be able to land it easier if I, uh, I guess, tested it out for a little bit longer. But that's nice. It is a nice plane. Just needs a little bit more fuel to make it to the Arctic, and then it would be really cool. So uh, really nicely done, but unfortunately, it won't make it there. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Also, I should say that the challenge is going on until the 18th. So you've got five days to add more fuel. And um, yeah, then it'll work. So there you go. So this one probably will get fixed. And it will work by the time the challenge is over. So I'm going to give it a pass mark anyway. Because I'm doing this five days early. But there you go. Bam. Okay, so here is plane number two for the challenge. This was built by Angry Potato. And uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting to see. So... We have a lot of passenger seats in this thing, um, which is pretty nice. Uh, it does have some big old cargo doors on there. Not entirely sure that we'll be able to fit the cargo in, though. Hold on. Let me grab one of these, because this is, like, the biggest thing that we're going to have to put in there. Um, oh, I see. I see what you've done. Hold on. Hold on. i seen these doors at the back. Let me put that right there. We can go ahead and open up the cargo doors. And, yeah, we can probably fit everything in there. There we go. We could just shove this in here normally, if I possibly could. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, we, we'd definitely be able to fit all the cargo in there. No no doubt about it. Um, yeah, because we've only got one of these. A small thing, which actually we might have something to replace it. Uh, it's about the size of this. There we go. We'll go ahead and shove this in there. And then we need two or three crates. It's three crates. And, yeah, they would definitely fit in there. If they didn't fit in that bit, they'd be able to fit in the front bit. So, uh, yeah, we definitely have enough room for all the storage and all the people, which is great. All right, cool. Go ahead and close the door. We'll see if we can take off in this thing. Um, bam. There we go. Nice. Get in the cockpit. Oh, wow. The cockpit is way higher. Um, we'll sit up here. And I guess we'll get going. Toggle button. What is that? Oh. Doesn't appear to have any electricity. But that's okay. Um, right. Okay. We're ready to go. Let's go ahead and throttle up. Okay. Yep. Sure. And let's go. There we go. Come on. Man, this plane does actually look pretty cool. If the wings were a little bit different, it would be really nice. All right. There we go. We've taken off. It is super fast. And we are super on fire. Okay. Right. Interesting. Very interesting. Do we have a fuel situation anywhere either? Yeah, we do. We got 8,000 fuel, but it uses it really quickly. Okay, right. This is interesting. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're going to go in for a landing. Here we go. Turn the brakes on. Press 1. Here we go. We're going in for a landing. Right. Okay. If we can actually land this, that would be great. That would be really good. There we go. It is possible to land. I have pressed one, but uh, it doesn't appear to be working, so we'll put the speed brake all the way on. And whammo! Yes! All right, cool. So we can actually land this plane. The brakes don't appear to work, though. So that's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, but yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Good. Good, good, good. Nice. I like it. Uh, whether this plane has enough fuel for it either, I'm not so sure. But it does set on fire, so I'm going to go ahead and say that that is a fail grade. It needs a PID system in it. But um, other than that, pretty cool looking plane. Definitely fits all the cargo in it. 
and all the people, even though there is only six, there's like 20 seats in here. Um, yeah, pretty good plane. Just wish it didn't blow up. There you go. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have a very interesting mobile. This one is made by Reaper, who made the big old uh, landing ship. The thing. The big thing that we built last time. Uh, and there's this little logo on the back. That looks pretty cool. Uh, there's a little bit of a step right there. Don't know whether that's uh, done on purpose or not, but there you go. Uh, so this is actually a VTOL, as you guys can see. And um, it looks pretty cool. How do we get inside? There's a ladder. There we go. Go ahead and close the door. There we go. Door is closing. Beautiful. Uh, let's have a little look back here. So, this is where we transport everything and all the people. That seems like a good idea. There we go. As you guys can see, though, that is like a double door. Uh, so, that's like a little drop pod, which is actually really cool. That You get, like, creative points for that, I think. Uh, that's really nice. We do have heaters in this one. <gasps> that's not something that I checked in the other planes. I'm not sure they had heaters. All right, that's okay. Uh, starter, let's go ahead and turn that on. Main power on. There we go. Heaters off. Idle flight mode. Brakes. Okay, everything so far is okay. Good. All right. Altitude set. No, we're good. We're good. Let's just go up into the sky real quick. Here we go. Hover up and down. Can we move up, please? That'd be great. How do I do this? Oh, God. How do I do this? Uh. Altitude set. Let's go to, like, 10. There we go. 10. Altitude hold on. We are moving forwards. So, so far, so good. But we haven't actually managed to get into the air at all. Uh, okay. Flight mode, idle. There we go. There we go. All right, beautiful. Yes. Currently working. Awesome. Right, I do want to go forwards a little bit more. There we go. Let's go up into the sky. And yeah. All right, nice. So we are working. It is totally working. A little bit unstable. It's a little bit bouncy, but that's okay. Bouncy. That's not even a word. Uh, right, okay. Turn. How do I change it into. Oh, I don't know. Press this. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, we are falling out of the sky. We're going sideways. Uh. I think it's because I. I'm so confused. I don't know what's happening. Oh, there we go. We're in proper flight mode now. Yeah, that's working completely fine. All right, we're going to fly over to there, and we'll see if we've got... I don't know. We'll see if we've got enough fuel. So, where's fuel? Oh, God. Where does it say fuel? Uh, I don't know where... Speed, altitude... Where's fuel? I don't know where fuel is. we got temperatures. we got power. we got wind speed. We don't have fuel. We don't have a fuel... Oh, whoa. We don't have a fuel checker anywhere. I'm getting out of my seat to have a little look over here. we got range. Oh, I see. we got range. Okay, yeah, we can definitely do it then. That's okay. That's good. Nice. All right, cool. So we're going to get all the way over here, and we're going to try and land it. Now, because it's a VTOL, it might work really easily. Or, or we could have the opposite happen, and it could be really difficult to land. I'm not so sure, but we'll fly all the way over here. We do need to try out the drop pod thingamabobby to see if it actually works. And once we've done all that, I think we'll, uh, we'll have a good time with this thing. Okay, so this looks like the island that we're going to have to be landing at. So I guess we'll go ahead and change back into VTOL mode. And we'll go ahead and pop her down on the floor. I guess we'll do it when we get to like a kilometer out though. Uh, so that we don't have to fly forwards in VTOL mode. Because that would suck a little bit. But that's okay. Alright, so we're almost over there. Let's go ahead and change the flight mode. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Alright, cool. That was way easier than I thought. Um, so to actually drop the drop pod thing of a Bobby, he says do it while you're on the ground. Uh, so we will do that. Don't worry. We're going to make our way over there, though, as quickly as we can. And there we go. VTOL mode in this thing is very slow. Very, very slow. But that's the whole point of it being a VTOL, right? So you can have a slow mode, and you can have a fast mode. There we go. All right, cool. We're going to go down for a landing. This might be the easiest landing vehicle that we're going to try out. So, uh, yeah, that's really nice to know. There we go. And put this down on the ground. There we go. Parked. Now, idle. Okay, how do I do brakes? Do we have any brakes anywhere? Heater, no, no. Okay, we're good. I think that's okay. All right, cool. Press the pod button. I'm gonna press the pod button, uh, wherever that is. There we go, pod up, down. Pod up, down, there we go. All right, let's have a little look on the outside. Wait a minute. We took off. Okay, very confused. Pod door open. Okay, right, well that happened. That works. If I do this, is it, will I be able to get back in? I don't know. 
Uh, right, okay, cool. So we're gonna have to drag this inside. Hopefully it fits, which indeed, yeah, it does. All of these things will be able to fit really easily. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab all the people. Might as well get them in. And, uh, wow, this is a very interesting vehicle to be using right now. Look at it. It just hovers there. That is really cool. What a cool idea. We'll have all of these people follow me around for a little bit. Yep, follow me. Throw these over there real quick. There we go. Oh, that might actually damage the helicopter. Or VTOL. I don't know. Is it still a helicopter? I don't know. All right, cool. Put all the people in here. All right, you. Sit down in that seat. You. Sit down in that seat. You. Sit down in that seat. You, sit down in there. You, there, and you, there. That's all the people on. Yes. All right, cool, good. Go ahead and grab the rest of the people. All right, you're in. I mean boxes, that's what I meant. There we go. You're in. Awesome sauce. We're going to climb up here, and I guess we can get in through the back end. No? Okay, I'm confused. I don't know how to get back in, unless I jump up here. No. Okay, right now I am very confused. Uh, okay. Okay, should I have opened this up before I got out? Maybe that might be the case. Uh oh I don't think I can get back in. Oh wait, hold on. I might be able to get in through this. There we go Yeah, I think I should have opened this up before I got out Yeah, because then we can jump back in that way Yeah, all right cool my bad I should have opened that up beforehand, but never mind All right cool close the door. Let's see what happens when we push this button. Oh close that door as well. There we go. We sort of lower ourselves back down to the floor. And it connects back up via a magnet. That is cool. That is really cool. Nice. Uh, range. Okay, it says we got like zero range. But we can fly for another very long time. Yeah, I think this will be able to make it. Not that we got any fuel sensors anywhere. But I'm going to go with... Yes, it's probably a pass mark. That is awesome. That is really cool. Nicely done, dude. Nicely done. Okay, so moving on from that insane VTOL to this. This is a really, really, really weird looking plane. Uh, but we'll go ahead and jump inside and we'll see if it works and stuff like that. There we go. Jump in through this. There we go. That's good. Go ahead and close this door up. And we have six seats. So instantly we got enough room for all the people. Now, does this door go all the way down? Yes, we got enough room for all the cargo as well. Really nice. All right, cool. So those two things are sorted. Can we take off and can we land in this plane? Why is this door so tiny? We got a little tiny door to crouch through. All right, close that door and... All right, this is really strange. Uh, we got a starter. Let's go. Full throttle. Hopefully it doesn't explode. We'll turn the brakes off. And um, yeah, let's go. Let's see if it can take off. First things first. Yeah, we're moving. All right, we are definitely moving. All right, start to pitch up. There we go. We're flying. Alrighty, nicely done. Definitely flies, so that's good. We've got brakes right there. We've got afterburners, which I guess allow us to fly a hell of a lot quicker. That's good. Alright, yeah, there we go. We're flying. Uh, and now we just need to go ahead and try landing. Alright, we do also need to look at the fuel as well. We've got 2,000 fuel. Uh, it does fly relatively fast, though. So I think this will be able to do it. Yeah, I actually think it will. Which is interesting. I don't know where the fuel is in this thing. It must be in the wings. Yeah, I think it's in the wings. That's not bad. That is not bad. All right, cool. Um, 2,650. Okay. Yeah, I, th I don't know. I'm not doing any calculations on this. Um, yeah, I think we will be able to do it. So that's good. All right, cool. Turn the oh, you need to leave the starters on. My bad. My bad. All right, cool. We need to go in for a landing somewhere. Let's go do that. Okay, I found a runway. Don't worry. We're going in for a landing now. This is a little bit of a pain in the butt because I don't think I can do it from inside. Or from outside, I should say. Uh, so we're going to be going like full speed. Quick stop. Not entirely sure what that does, but we'll go ahead and press really fast stop in a second. Here we go. Three, two, one. Press it now. Oh my Jesus. And we landed. Oh my, that landing gear is, is not strong. All right, turn this off. Turn that off. Turn that off. I landed with afterburners on. Uh, but you know what? I don't think we broke the plane at all. So, uh, yeah, I think this one is a pass mark. Gonna go with a pass mark from there. All right, cool. If you guys are wondering why I'm doing all of this so early as well, it's because a lot of people actually finish their planes really early. So, and there's a lot of planes. There is a hell of a lot of planes already ready for the, uh, the challenge. So, um, yeah, I think that one is actually a pass mark. For um, looks, though, we're gonna give it a fail. For looks, we're going to give it a fail because that is ugly. That is one ugly plane. 
Okay, so this is the last entry for today. What in the world is it? It's a flying boat. It's got propellers. This is insanely looking weird. That is really strange. Really, really strange looking plain boat, which is cool. We got our engines at the front and the top. Uh, I really like it, actually. It looks insane. Uh, this was built by Amber Fall, and um, yeah, I really do like it already. Uh, we do need to see how much fuel it's got and stuff like that. How do we put the cargo in here? Uh, I'd have to climb up onto here. And then we would have to open up this door somehow. I don't know how we open up that door, but I guess we do it from the inside. All right, cool. Let's get in. There we go. We'll run to the back end. We have six places for people to sit. That is exactly the amount that we need. Go through this door. We've got some cargo area. How do we open the cargo? Oh, do we do this? Cargo door is open. Definitely got enough room for the cargo. So uh, I guess this is a pass mark as well for, for cargo. That's good. That is really cool. Go ahead and close that door. Man, this thing is beautiful. Let's go ahead and close this door as well. Oh. Okay. I broke the I broke a door, but that's okay. That door is not essential anyway, so that's fine. Uh unless it just closes automatically. Maybe it's on a timer. Alright, cool. LL engine. RR engine. RM engine. R oh LM engine. Alright, cool, that's all the engines on. Heater, we don't need those. Cycle uh light cycle. Joe, we'll go with that. Close all doors. Alright, cool. Main reserve. Alright, that's nice. Uh, temperature, RPS, beautiful. Let's have a little look in the front. Do we have fuel? We do. 7,000 fuel is probably enough. All right, cool. We have turned slightly, okay, which is quite interesting. And we're going backwards. Even more interesting is we're going backwards. Okay, how do I turn? Uh, uh, why are we going backwards? Why are we going backwards? Don't go backwards. Throttle up. And turn slightly. Come on. Throttle up and turn. I don't think we're going to be able to get out. No. All right. Restart. Restart. We do need to push this thing out of the hangar. Because uh, it's a big it's a big thing. And it moved sideways, unfortunately. But that's okay. I'm going to push it out before we do anything else. And that will allow us to actually test this thing out. All right. Let's go. Push, push, push. Push it. Push it real good. Go, 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 go. All right. Uh, a little bit further. Keep going. Keep going. It's fine. I'm a muscle man. I can totally push these things. Easy peasy. There we go. All right, good. That is probably out enough. All right, let's go ahead and get on the ladders real quick. Open up the door. Jump inside. Close the door. Go through this door. Get in the seat. Oh, no. We need, we need to start the engines. All right, one, two, three, and four. All right, cool. And throttle up in three, two, one, go. There we go. We've throttled up. We are slowly going sideways. Oh man, this is such a stable flight too. That's crazy. That is really key crazy. Press five for gear. Uh, five didn't, uh, oh, there we go. It did that time. Awesome, nice, cool, good. So that worked, that worked fine. Altitude hold, we do actually have an altitude hold. We also have floats. Oh, boys. Oh, I really have a, a place in my heart for flying boats. That is cool. All right, cool, lift that back up. That's awesome. Altitude hold, let's press 4, and it'll stay pretty steady, hopefully. I think we are slowly... Yeah, we're, 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 we've got like a proper altitude hold for this thing. That is beautiful. What a cool looking plane boat. Plane boat. Nice. Will it actually make it all the way there, though? So let's have a little look at our fuel real quick. We got 7,000... Yeah, we definitely will. Definitely make it all the way there. It could carry the cargo. We have heaters in this thing somewhere as well, uh, which is really nice. All right, awesome. Really, really cool plane. I like it. I really do. That is really cool. Don't know how you turn the lights on back here. Uh, that should be something that we sort of figure out, right? Light cycle? Is that something that's figured? Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Anyway, that works. That really does work. And if we wanted to, we can land it on the, on the ocean? We can land it in the water if we wanted to, but we won't do that. All right, cool. Altitude holds. Go ahead and turn that off. And we'll go ahead and try and land it somewhere. <laughs> That's a good idea. I want to land it in the water. I really do. Let's do that. Let's do it. Okay, so for landing in the water, we're going to go ahead and press 6. The, the lower our thingamabobbies. Only one of the floats has came down. Now the other one has. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and throttle down a little bit. And we're going to slowly pitch up so that we get level with the water. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to slowly stall ourselves out pretty much. There we go. All right, cool. We're going down. And we are in the water. Landed. All right, nice. It is pretty sturdy down here. It's pretty stable. That's really nice. 
Close all doors. Let's open the doors real quick. See if they're out of the water. Only just. That's pretty cool. Go ahead and open this up and have a little look on the outside. Beautiful. Uh, right, stall takeoff. Let's try that. Three. There we go. Go ahead and throttle up uh, like this. And we'll try and take off. Which it does instantly. <laughs> it does it literally instantly. That is crazy. All right, cool. Go ahead and turn stall off. Nicely done. Press four for altitude hold. And yeah, this plane is amazing. It is so cool. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here for right now. If you guys want to test out any of the planes that I've tested out in this video, then they will all be linked down below. There is five of them. And I'll continue to do these videos over the next few days to get rid of the backlog. And then uh, the update will be finished uh, on the 18th. Oh, the 19th. I'll give you guys till the 19th. Um, or the video will be made on the 19th, I should say, for those of you that haven't done it yet. Um, but those of you that have actually loaded up your planes, awesome. Thank you guys for doing it so quickly. Anyway, and also taking part, because that's awesome as well. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to stop this here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.